Ellis Beef Easter's radio air check and classic TV channel. Make it your ballroom. Let's dance. And that theme was our theme a lot of years ago. Charlie Barnett and the orchestra and the modern airs. The theme of the Make Believe Ballroom way back when. And I'm going to invite you to come way back when with me and enjoy music for the next 45 minutes. Not only the late 30s and the early 40s, but we're even going back to 1917. I'm not going to tell you who we're going to feature from 1917, but you figure it out. Before we introduce our first artist, I must talk about mail. The mail on this program has been unbelievable, and I wish I could answer it all, but it's impossible. Most people want to know where they can buy duplicates of the records we're featuring, and the answer is that in most cases you cannot. They are no longer in circulation. They are from private collections, my own and other good friends. And then other people, well, they want to know if uh, I'll lend them the record so they can make recordings on their tape machine. No, I can't do that either. But I will try never to talk while one of these great records is being played, so that if you want to do it at home, that's your business. Let's get around to the good old days and open with Artie Shaw and the band doing Frenesy. <laughs> If you think all tires are round, you've got another tire coming. You better try an Atlas Lycron tire, cause it's the tire that's round. You'll get 3,000 extra miles of wear, cause it's the tire that's round. Hello, this is Rex Marshall. Atlas Plycron, the round tire, rolls at least 3,000 miles further than even the tires that come in most new cars. The rounder the tire, the better it rolls. Rounder tires begin with rounder molds, and the Atlas Plycron is made in a precision engraved mold. Just one of many reasons why the round tire wears longer. You'll get 3,000 more miles, at least. When they really are round, your tires cover more ground. So get an Atlas Plycron tire, the round tire. Ask about Atlas Plycron, the round tire, at your Esso service station. Another happy motoring product at the happy motoring sign. Same place where we put a tiger in your tank. Now, our next number features Charlie Barnett and the band with Bob Carroll on the vocal. It was recorded in 1941 because in 1941, this song was on your hit parade. I hear a rhapsody. I hear a rhapsody. That uh, was 1941, Charlie Barnett and the band. Her father is Charlie Chaplin, one of the most controversial figures in the history of the movies. Her mother, Una O'Neill, daughter of the great, great playwright Eugene O'Neill. She is young, she is beautiful, she's heading for stardom. Now, in the new issue of Look Magazine, meet exciting Geraldine Chaplin, who soon launches her own movie career in the important new picture, Dr. Zhivago. Come with Look to London, Paris, Madrid, and see how this proud young lady with the proud name is beginning to follow in the footsteps of her illustrious father. Read of the struggles with herself and her family that took place before Geraldine finally got her big break in the movies. How much help, according to Look, did she get from Charlie Chaplin in starting her career? How does she feel about the controversy surrounding her father? What's the real story behind her many publicized romances? Has she really been engaged eight times? Don't miss Look's intimate picture and text report on the glamorous new Chaplin. See for yourself why Look is the largest selling, most vital magazine in its field. Get Look today. Let's drop back again to 1940. And on your hit parade at that time, Tommy Dorsey and Frank Sinatra made a record of uh, a big hit song. I'm sure you'll remember it. I'm sure you danced to it right down there at the old Hotel Pennsylvania. We're in the early 40s, and that was Tommy Dorsey, Frank Sinatra, and Imagination. Well, it's circus time. See a magnificent multitude of international stars in Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus. Now, through May 9th, Madison Square Garden. Get good seats now. 
And now it's 45 seconds before 1.30 here on WOR AM and FM New York, your RKO General Station. Martin Block and the Hall of Fame bringing back the bands of yesteryear, the big bands. You remember before the bands got so big they built a special room in the Hotel Pennsylvania upstairs and called it the Cafe Rouge. You remember when we used to dance down the cellar? You remember when they had the posts down there? Pillars or posts, whatever you want to call them? And they were hard, made out of brick or something. And they used to put padding around them. And in spite of all the padding, when you walked out of there, you always had some black and blue marks because the way we used to throw our partners around in them their days, oh, they were the good old days of dan- dancing. Well, compare it with today, and it's a little different. At least you knew you had a partner Now, then. Now you don't know whether you got a partner or not. But let's go down the cellar. <laughs> you had Hal Kemp and the orchestra and Bob Allen, and it all comes back to me now. Kemp, and it all comes back to me now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, comes something that I've been asked for for quite a while. A great deal of mail has been coming in asking me about the original Dixieland Jazz Band. That was spelled J-A-S-S on the label. According to the uh, dictionary, jazz, pronounced yes, is a type of card game played in Switzerland which is similar to Pinochle. So (laughs) how they got that, I don't know, although I do know, but I won't tell you. But the original Dixieland Jazz Band were the first white musicians to come north from Dixieland with a, a put-together band of four musicians. Nick LaRocca playing cornet, Eddie Edwards on trombone, Larry Shields played clarinet, Henry Raggis at the piano, and, oh, there was another one, uh, uh, Tony Spabardo. Uh, he uh, was featured on drums. They came up here in 1917 and recorded two records. 1917, almost 50 years ago. Recording wasn't so good quality-wise in those days, but would you like to hear that original Dixieland jazz band with the original musicians doing Tiger Rag? We'll lend an ear. It's almost 50 years old. I'll never forget the thrill I got in 1939 when I rounded up four of those five musicians, got them together in New York, and we did a broadcast. The only one we couldn't get a hold of, Henry Raggis, because he had passed on, oh, quite a good many years ago. But I had four of the five original Dixielanders right in New York. wish I had a record of that session. That would be something to play, but we just don't have it. Well, that took you back a lot of years, huh? Now, they don't expect to get you excited over the fact that Opal sales in this country are breaking all kinds of records, so they'll just say this. Your Buick Opal dealers are now celebrating Opal's success with Opal sales days. And this is the interesting point. They'll put you in a brand new Opal built by General Motors for about the price of a good used car. Many families today need two cars, so why not make the second one a new one, an Opal? And here's another point to consider. Opal's low price includes many popular options as standard equipment. Bucket seats, padded dash, steering wheel lock, Windshield washers, all vinyl interiors, four-speed floor shift, 46-horsepower engine that goes and goes on a gallon of regular gas. So why not take a couple of minutes today, visit your Buick Opal dealer during Opal sales days. The name of your nearest dealer is in your local newspaper. I think one of the greatest ballads that Glenn Gray and the orchestra ever made featured Kenny Sargent on the vocal. You remember this one? 
I will gather stars out of the blue. Palisades has a rise, Palisades has a fun. Come on over, shows and dancing are free, so's the parking, so gee. Come on over. Palisades from coast to coast, where a dime buys the most. Palisades amusement park swings all day and after dark. You'll have fun, so come on over. Palisades Amusement Park is now open daily for the season, featuring 175 thrilling rides and attractions. Tuesdays and Thursdays are bargain days. Many rides are 5 and 10 cents. There's always free dancing, free parking, admission only 35 cents at Palisades Amusement Park. This afternoon, you can see the rag dolls, the teammates, and many others all in person and free at Palisades Amusement Park. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the great, the one, the only, and the original version, Duke Ellington's Sophisticated Lady. A wonderful neighbor is coming to Manhasset. It's the beautiful new and complete Abraham and Strauss department store on Northern Boulevard in Manhasset, soon to open. And with it comes hundreds of opportunities for you to enjoy the excitement of being part of the friendly Abraham and Strauss family. Yes, right now, ANS has full-time positions for saleswomen and stockmen, plus other jobs as well. Imagine working close to home in the pleasant atmosphere of ANS and getting all these important benefits, too. Liberal discounts on anything you buy for yourself, your home, your family. Winter as well as summer vacations. Low-cost employees' cafeteria right in ANS. Free hospitalization, free surgical and pension plans. Free parking and carpools arranged. Full-time positions require only 37 and a half hours a week, and you receive on-the-job training with pay. Come talk it over at the ANS Employment Office, located right in the beautiful Abraham and Strauss Manhasset store on Northern Boulevard at Community Drive, Manhasset. It's open every day, including Saturday from 10 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. Earl Father Hines, when Billy Eckstein was his vocalist, the hit parade hit, Skylark. <laughs> Easter is a time for bunnies. Fred, you bought a what for Debbie? And bonnets. What do you think of it, Fred? You gotta be kidding. And the beauty of flowers. You sent Mother these for Easter? Oh, Fred, she'll love them. Sending flowers is a wonderful way to say Happy Easter to someone you can't be with. Send them through FTD. Your FTD Master Florist has a wide selection of brilliant spring flowers, including Easter lilies, and he'll deliver them anywhere in the United States or Canada. And you can see what you're sending, too, by ordering your Easter flowers by number from the free FTD Selection Guide. So say, Happy Easter, Happy Spring, to an out-of-town friend with flowers through FTD. Oh, Fred, Mother will love them. Easter flowers. Send them anywhere through your FTD florist. Well, there's always been a great deal of discussion as to whether the original Dixieland jazz band first recorded Tiger Rag or the Dixie jazz band One Step. I played Tiger Rag. Let's settle the discussion and play the other side. So much for the original Dixieland Jazz Band. And to conclude today's session, Benny Goodman's original cut, Stomping at the Savoy. Well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. All the time will permit. Coming up next, the news with Lester Smith at 2.15, Dick Willard and Curtain Time, and at 3 o'clock, your Sunday afternoon concert, New York Philharmonic, live from Lincoln Center. Hope you enjoyed our swing session. 
And we'll be with you next Saturday and Sunday, 11.15. Take it easy. Till then, this is Martin Block saying so long to you and you and especially to you. It's make-believe ballroom time.